Hello, Falafel Jr. How are you this week? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, I've strung together two wins in a row during a Falafel regular season. I don't remember the last time that happened for me, so I hope the season is turning around for you if that needs to be the case, or if you were dominating from the get-go, I hope that you are continuing to do so. Um, just a warning, this next week after week 10 is going to be the final video of awards for weekly awards. We are going to have weekly videos, but they are going to be geared towards uh, the playoffs and looking at playoff implications, who's getting locked in, uh, matchups that are going to have playoff implications, all that kind of stuff. So two more weeks of awards, and then we are switching it to the playoffs. So just wanted to let you guys all know that. And then, uh, so why don't we go ahead and hand out some week nine awards and look at this. High as a kite, we've got Jacob Niner, 123.7 points. Pretty much solid production from all of his teams. Um, even with, I can't even read my own handwriting, negative one from your defense. That's right. Even with negative one from your defense, you still had a good good output this week. So good on you, buddy. 16 plus points from four year starters. So that was pretty solid. Sloppiest girl in the bar this week goes to Army Dan with 66.7 points. You had five players on your team with three points or less. So uh, that makes the sad face emoji for that one. That is unfortunate, buddy. Uh, who let you in? This one goes to Gates with a 39.9 point victory over my good buddy Caveman. Uh, got shellacked this week, but as one of those bye weeks, you probably had a lot of players out. <sighs> what are you going to do? Your team seems pretty decent. I think you're going to be all right. No baddest bench this week because of all those bye weeks, like I just said. Not supposed to be here today. This award also goes to Jacob Niner this week. A 1-7 team taking down a 4-4 four four Money Martins. Uh, just not supposed to be there. Wasn't supposed to happen, but that is why we play the game. All right. Tighter than a crab's vagina. Hoog with a one-point victory over GA17, Mr. Austin. Uh, that, I believe, was the closest matchup in all three Falafel Leagues this week. So, in Falafel, we didn't have a matchup closer than nine points. So this was a, definitely a good one, which means that Austin's going to find himself on the milk was a bad choice list. And if you had started T.Y. Hilton over anybody, you would have easily won your game. We all know that he scored over 30 points. So solid for him. It was tough to see him sitting there on your bench, bud. And then Army Dan, if you had started Jared Goff over Matt Ryan, you too would have uh, won your game as well. So, unfortunate choices there. And then we've got the fucking Chuck Norris Award. This one this week goes to Money Martin's 94.1 points. You'd have beaten 9 of 13 possible opponents, but you ran into the buzzsaw. That is Jacob Niner for Week 9. Um, so, yeah. Those are our Week 9 awards. Looking forward to Week 10. We have got some more matchups, of course, because it's the regular season. 7-2 and two Slime Sucking Hogs going up against 5-4 and four GA17. We've got 6-3 and three Gates facing off versus 5-4 and four Hoog. We've got 6-3 and three Caveman up against 5-4 and four Showcase. 5-4 and four Trade Fantasy is taking on 4-5 and five Money Martins. 5-4 and four Pidolo is taking on 4-5 and five Jetty. Four and five, Mr. Me Seeks, who's made quite the comeback after his first of many meltdowns. Uh, four and five, Mr. Me Seeks going up against three and six, Dead Duck. And then we've got two and seven, Army Dan, up against two and seven, Jacob Niner. One of you guys will be securing a full game spot at the bottom of the standings and one week closer to potential relegation. So win those games. Everybody has got to start winning games, except for maybe Slime Sucking Hogs. He might be in a, a decent spot where he doesn't have to win, but good luck to everybody. I will talk to you all after week 10, our final awards video. So uh, yes, I will talk to you then. Peace.